hello i welcome everybody back to my youtube channel and today we have this pcb it is given to me by another technician they've tried to service the pcb the pcb is dead and this is iphone 6s plus all right they've done all the code but they don't know why the phone is dead so i'm very good with troubleshooting you know guys so let me do the troubleshooting all right the first thing we need to do is to put our multimeter always start with your multimeter okay when you start with your multimeter it gives you a clue what to do next okay red probe on ground and black probe to take readings on the vbat lines okay so now let's take reading on dialed mode red probe on ground black probe to take reading let's go all right that's giving 0 0.4 voltage drop that's very good and the gnd is also reading to the ground that's a very good reading on the VBAT line, okay? So what next are we going to do, all right? So before we move to the next thing to do, I want to introduce you to our online class where we train you to be better technicians. If you are interested, please, our numbers are on the screen and we teach you the details, the full details of mobile phone troubleshooting. Thank you so much, all right? Now let's go back to the video. Now what is the next thing that we are going to do is to go to our DC power supply and we need to set our voltage to 4.2 volt and 3 amps all right we are trying to see the response from the pcb now we are going to connect the boot cable to the pcb right now let's monitor the screen all right you can see there is auto amp reading that means a current is being drawn from the pcb there is a component that is shorting on this pcb all right and that is a full shot all right so what are we going to do next the next thing is to use our alligator probes to connect the black probe to the ground and the red probe to the vbat line okay if you don't know what the vbat line please join my online course my student already know by now so you connect to the vbat line then you feel with your finger where the heat is coming from on the pcb all right so once you feel where the as as i'm pressing i'm trying to feel where the heat is going to be coming from because i already know there's a shorter component i can feel i can sense heat on this down side all right so that means on this area i sense heat and on the others on the upper side so what is the next thing to do okay the next thing is to use my roasting flocks because in this video i don't want to use my thermal camera so if you don't have a roasting flux make sure you go get yourself one and you spread it on where you feel the heat on the pcb spread it on where you feel the heat on the pcb then you inject voltage if you want to learn how to inject voltage the right voltage the pcb i have my online course please make sure you join the online training you are going to learn all these things all right so now you spread the flux all over where you sense the heat all right so after injecting voltage the bad guy is going to show up the first component that eats up is the bad component okay that's how to troubleshoot uh short circuit on the mobile pcb without thermal camera okay use your roasting flux and to you are going to use it to detect the the eating component on the pcb there's another thing you need to you, you can use and that is freeze spray it's also very effective all right so when you are connecting your black probe make, make sure your black probe is not connected to any other component on the pcb but must be connected only to the gnd so you have to be very careful now i'm going to inject voltage on the on the vbat section okay on the vbat section that vbat line right from the battery terminal so as i spread my roasting flux i'm going to inject voltage right now and i'm injecting it but it's not okay, let me let me clip it back again to get my gnd properly and okay i think everything is set now all right but before i show you i have to also know where the shot is coming from so i can show you later okay i've injected the voltage and there is an ic that is eating up right here and it's out of the white component there that's the only black guy i'm going to show you right now pay close attention at this i see right there okay that black one so let me spray the rosin flux and i'm going to show you all right you're going to see how it's going to melt the rosin all right so injecting my voltage right now to the vbat okay you're going to see what is going to happen the the shorted component is going to melt off and it's going to turn black okay pay attention you see that you see that 
so as you can see this ic right here is the problem of this pcb if you can replace that ic i'm very very 110 percent sure that this pcb would come up but if it doesn't switch on you need to continue your troubleshooting i hope you have learned in this video see you in my next video peace